YouTube, what's going on? And welcome to the ninth episode of my Future 16 Foot Draft Series. In today's episode, we are going to be doing what we always do, starting off picking a formation with wingers, then choosing a captain that is not a left wing or goalkeeper. I then have to pick the lowest rate goalkeeper, so I do take Kiko Casilla. I then have to pick the fastest left mid, and that would have to be Hesse Rodriguez. I could have picked Hyun Min Song, but I decided to go with Hesse. And the squad I am built is an amazing team, Sturridge, and also Raheem Sterling and Firmino up front, Hesse, and also Lucas on the wingers. Fernandinho as the center mid, Marcelo, Varane, Laporte, and I don't know who the right back is with Casilla and goal. So a really nice three-league hybrid, full chemistry on everybody, so a really nice team. But we go into this game against Inter Milan. It's Lucas on the attack, giving it up to Corchita, the right back. He gives it up to Firmino. Firmino on the ball is going around. He bowl rolls, gives it up to Hesse. Hesse loses the ball, gets it right back. Hesse gives it up to Sturridge, turns, has the shot. Daniel Sturridge gives us the lead right here early going in this game in the third minute. So the Liverpool, an English striker, does get the goal, gets the pass from Jesse Rodriguez and finishes it with his strong left foot, but it would be Inter on the attack right now. But Laporte gets an interception. He tries to play through Varane, but it's intercepted by Kondobia. Kondobia on the ball right now. He's still dribbling. Gives up to Kovacic. Kovacic plays the through ball to Kondobia, who has the shot, and it just goes wide of the post. So, a poor finish from the French central defensive midfielder. But we do get a winning header right here. That would be Lucas on the attack. The Brazilian skiller does a nice little heel-to-heel -heel flick. He stops, turns back around. Lucas cut into the inside. Lucas goes all the way. He big shots around. Lucas has the shot. No, he loses it. It falls to Roberto Firmino, and his shot just goes wide the post so some decent overall play by our attack so far and we feel that we deserve to be in the lead which we are but now we're on the attack again and we lose the ball. It's played through to Icardi. Icardi, the Argentinian striker, is dribbling on the ball. He plays through Hernanez. Hernanez on the ball right now has the long shot, and Hernanez just has his shot go wide of the post. He recently transferred to Juve, so he'll be looking to bring those into Juventus, but that will be the end of the first half, so a decent first half for us. Uh, very happy to be in the lead, as we have been uh, the better side by a little bit, I think, but Palacio's on the ball right now. He loses the ball to Laporte, but gets it right back. Condobia gives up to Icardi. Icardi back to Condobia. Whips in the cross to Pal Palacio, who shot, just goes over the bar. So, Rodrigo Palacio with a good chance to score a goal. And I do make a substitution. I do take off Roberto Firmino, and I do sub on Neymar. So, uh, one Brazilian skiller going out for another. So, it would be Icardi on the attack right now for Inter Milan. Looking to tie the game. Icardi running down the wing. He's going all the way. He's going up in the cross to Palacio, whose header just goes wide of the post. So, Palacio just couldn't finish so far this game. But would be Inter on the attack again, looking to tie the game. Nagatomo on the ball gives up to Guarin. Freddy Guarin on the ball right now. He plays through. Palacio who finishes it into the back of the net and Rodrigo Palacio does give into the lead and now it's Raheem Sterling on the attack right now he plays it outside to Fernandinho Fernandinho gives up to Hacer Rodriguez Rodriguez does a spin move gets taken out by Kondogbia it's going to be a penalty for our team and it would be Neymar stepping up take the penalty and he finishes the penalty to give our foot draft team the lead so Neymar with the goal right there in the 71st minute so hopefully that would seal the deal for our team and get us through to a victory over Inter Milan who in real life have started off absolutely fantastic in the Serie A. I believe they have nine points out of nine, so they're in first place right now, doing very well for themselves, and would be Inter on the attack right now. Icardi playing through to Palacio. Palacio on the ball. He's dribbling it down. Palacio still going. Goes around the defender. He could go. Has the shot. Rodrigo Palacio ties the game right here in the 83rd minute, and he does make it Inter Milan, too, and our foot draft team, too, so unfortunately, that would be the end of the game, so we do take the lead twice, but Rodrigo Palacio does tie the game twice, and we do end with a draw so it was a decent overall game but unfortunately we could not get the win and now we go into the second game of the episode and we do pick the 4-3-3 holding I do select Kevin De Bruyne as the captain the goalkeeper that I pick would have to be Subashic, the Monaco goalkeeper, and then the left wing would have to be Gervinho, and the hybrid I built around them is Gervinho, Aubameyang, and Campbell is the attack with Kevin De Bruyne Castro and also Sven Bender as the midfield. Ricardo Rodriguez, uh, Carvalho, and Mats Hummels, and then also I believe Wendell as the right back. And then Subashitz is the goalkeeper. So a decent hybrid. I believe only Gervinho and the uh, other center back for Monaco were not in full chem, but we do go against Seattle. They're on the attack right now. It's Pineda on the ball. It plays through to Clint Dempsey. Dempsey has a shot. It goes off the post, and we do clear the ball right there. So a very dangerous attack by the MLS team, but it would be Hilbert on the ball right now. He's going around the defender. 
if Hilbert's still dribbling, he's going to stop. He's going to hold up the play. He's going to play it to his fullback teammate, Rodriguez. Rodriguez has the shot, and it just goes wide of the post, says the Swish International and Wolfsburg defender who got lit up by Robert Lewandowski recently. But it is Sven Bender on the attack right now. He gets taken out. It's going to be a penalty for our foot draft team, and will be Kevin De Bruyne looking to step up to take the penalty. De Bruyne against Ferrari, and he sends uh, the ball into the back of the net, and the goalkeeper didn't even move, so that will give our foot draft team the lead right here. So Kevin De Bruyne does score the goal. He recently made a move to Manchester City, but in the FIFA 16 demo, he is obviously still at Wolfsburg, so that's how I built the hybrid around him, but that would be the end of the first half. So a very solid first half, very happy to be in the lead, but we really should be beating Seattle Sounders by one or two goals by the end of it. I do take off Campbell and sub in Victor E. Barbo, so that's the first sub I make. The second sub I make is also taking out Ricardo Cavario and put in Marquinhos. So those are the two subs I made right there, and would be us on the attack right now with Ricardo Rodriguez giving up to Gervinho. Gervinho to Sven Bender. Bender loses the ball, but gives up to Aubameyang. Aubameyang to Ibarbo, who shot just goes wide of the post. So Ibarbo getting involved early, but it would be Seattle, or not Seattle, yeah, Seattle on the attack with Clint Dempsey. Dempsey goes around the defender, plays a through ball into Alonso. Alonso whips in the cross to Abafemi Martins, whose header just goes wide of the post. It was a golden opportunity for the Nigerian striker, and he just couldn't finish it. But it would be CL on the attack with Nagil on the ball. He plays through Martins. Martin goes around the defender, has the shot, but it is a very com comfortable save for Subacis. It would be a corner for Seattle in the 90th minute. It's Papa to deliver the corner for Seattle looking to tie the game. It's cleared off the line by Castro. Only to allow Femi Martins who scores the goal on the half volley, and he does make it. Our foot draft team won, and Seattle won. So a very disappointing way to end the game in the video. But if you enjoyed, make sure to leave a like, and also subscribe for more FIFA 16 videos.